the president, I'm afraid, is going to find sometime in the next four or five months that nothing he says has any impact on the Iranian dictatorship. Nothing he says has any impact on the North Korean dictatorship. Now, the president's a very smart man. He has a very good national security team headed by General Jones. It'll be very interesting to see at that point if the president reaches the conclusion the dialogue will not work, then what is he, in fact, going to recommend to the United States and to our allies? And that's that's where we that's right back to where we right, you know right, where we started so to almost is it if if yeah, words don't right. do it if if words don't do it dialogue doesn't do it what what should we do I mean give me some options. Well, I think the key you know as you know in our film on Ronald Reagan the, the key was that Reagan liberated Poland, Ukraine, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Czechoslovakia, Hungary. Uh, East Germany. He did it by a combination of political, military, economic, and intellectual pressures. Uh, he did it without firing a shot. There, were, there was no war in Eastern Europe. The Soviet Empire collapsed. I think you could design a strategy, both in North Korea and in Iran, that would peacefully, over time, lead to a much more acceptable government. And so I guess the question has to be, what would Ronald Reagan do? I think that's right, and I think, uh, I mean, you just quoted the Heritage Foundation slogan. I mean, I, think, I do think, but I think not, it's not just Reagan. Historically, when you're faced with an opponent who is unwilling to change, you either have to decide you're going to live with it, or you have to decide you're going to find a way to replace the opponent. Ideally, you'd like to replace them without military action, and you'd like to replace them by a combination of economic and political and, and information warfare techniques that are nonviolent.